Simon, Liverpool have got their man, Virgil van Dijk, and that's good news as well for the club behind you, Celtic. It's great news for Celtic, uh, obviously financially. It's a huge gain for them on the back of the £75 million sell to, to Liverpool. So, yeah, it's a, it's a benefit to the club, obviously. A great move for the lad as well and Liverpool. What are the qualities that Van Dijk will bring to that Liverpool defence? Just think of an assuredness, you know, he's, we've seen how good he played here at Celtic. Uh, many times here he played almost with a cigar, you know, very calm at the back, building from the back, typical Dutch. Uh, and I think the Liverpool defence has been under a wee bit of scrutiny this season, so I think him, his addition will be a, a fantastic one for the club. So money coming in for Virgil van Dijk, possibly money coming for Moussa Dembele. Do you see him going in the January transfer window to England? I don't. I think the speculation was there. I think Rodgers has been quite clear saying that uh, there's been nothing. You know, it's, it's just speculation. Uh, I think Brighton were the team that were linked with him. But I don't see him moving just now. Uh, he's still young, he's still developing here at Celtic. And there's lots to play for. Uh, None more so than an important game at the weekend, but Europa League coming up as well. And I see him staying to at least the end of the season. We know how agents work, Simon, so somebody has now floated a figure of £18 million. Maybe that's just a starting point. Yeah, it probably is. I think last year when he was at the height of you know, the season scoring all the goals, I think uh, there was reports of a lot higher than that. Uh, I don't think he's hit the heights this season, and I think that goes back to what I'm saying about him developing as a player. He's still 20-21. Uh, got a lot to learn uh, and there's no better platform than here at Celtic Park. Now the Celtic manager Brendan Rodgers has signed a long-term contract. He's on Premiership money here at Celtic. But again, there are whispers that he might be on the radar of one or two clubs in the South. Yeah, and it's understandable. You know, the, the fantastic run that the club had there, 69 games. And you look at the players, there's not been a major overhaul since the last manager. But what he's did when he's come in here is he's improved the players and given them the belief you know, to go and perform and go on that fantastic run. So that's obviously going to attract attention. Again, you look at potentially go down in history here with what he's trying to achieve at the club, and I'm sure he wants to be part of that. So it's things like that you need to weigh up as well, rather than just a move to the Premiership in England. Uh, there's a lot to play for here at Celtic. Having been a manager in the Premiership, though, Brendan Rodgers is probably thinking, I wouldn't mind another crack at that at some point. I think he would. Yeah, I think he would. Uh, you know, he's had his, his, his time at Liverpool and went close with Liverpool that year. Uh, but I just think the thing they're trying to achieve here, you know, with the 10, it's well documented that if the club get this and everybody connected with the club can go down in history. Uh, and that's three, four seasons. He's still a young manager, you know, with a, a huge uh, future ahead of him. So I think I think he'll be happy to stay here just now. He certainly has made that, that kind of evident in his, his comments and his interviews. I'd be surprised to see anything other than that just now.